slide there. I came across the road here. Yeah, there's the freezer. Where's the freezer? Flood. We're in Long Cabin. We're heading up to the old Okanagan. Well, we're in Manning Park now, the start of it. Prime Sasquatch Country. This goes for, I think it's 80 miles, isn't it? This goes forever and ever. You can smell the bush. Storm went through here, thunder, lightning storm. Everything got soaked. This is Summerland. Yeah. It was a wicked storm. Actually, some Sasquatch stories over there. Years ago, a few years back. Didn't sound too good. That's not like an accident. Hmm. Didn't sound good. The highway's up there. Goes along, and you can see the forest fires. Fires went through here, burned everything. All the way along. Yeah. Oh, some thunder, lightning over there. Okay. It's gonna pour. We're kind of covered there. And we're in here. Okay. Yeah. It's going good. This seems to be clouds months. Heavy rain. Oh, more thunder. Woo! It's coming down. Huh? Couldn't get any heavier. This is the camping life. <laughs> oh, this is Ruby Creek area. This is where the famous Chapman family had a Sasquatch encounter back in 1942, I think it was, or 46. Quite a ways back. Area. You can see it's prime Sasquatch country. All around here. I'm just cruising at 90 here. My cruise control works. There's Barb over there. Oh, kind of see her. Oh, the cruise control kicked in.
off a drip. Over that way. We just ran into a brown bear over there. Maybe 30 feet from us. There's a jet boat over here. They were fishing and they saw the bear, so they were filming it. Well, that water's cold. This is the Fraser River. We're up in Yale country again. Camping up here and uh, it's so high, you can't even walk along anywhere along here. It's just all bush. It's good for the bears. That was a brown bear, so that was a cool looking one. Okay. Huh? Yeah, the bear's over there, so he's following us. Hey, he's coming this way. Get no bear spray or anything, just a rock. Whew. Told you he's coming this way. Hey, he saw us and took off. Hey. He's heading into the campground. Hey. That's what the bears do, eh? He's gonna come out right over here, maybe. See him. Well, we put our uh, big potatoes on the fire there, Barb put on. Get, get too close to the fire because it's still like 28 degrees Celsius out in West 31 today up here. We're on an undisclosed area. Beautiful campground here. Okay, we're in Yale. I won't lie, we're in Yale. The LBC, this is where the famous uh, Jocko was. We captured Jocko not far from here. Maybe, uh, what's it, maybe 10 or 15 miles from here up in the mountains. We'll be heading up that way tomorrow. Jocko was a young Sasquatch and uh, he was caught. He was on the railroad and they caught him, I guess, went up a cliff and they knocked him down or something with a rock or something. And, uh, but anyways, yeah, he's actually buried up in, up here somewhere. I won't say where, but uh, a few of us know where. Yeah. So I'll be honest, there's a bear running around here. There's a brown, a little, little brown bear. There was another one running around with him, so they killed a deer over here on the other side of the campground. That's what the guy was telling us. It's a beautiful campground though. Look at it there. Barb, she's cooking some food. Bacon and our baked potatoes. See the mountains here. Try and show what I can. The highway's not too far from here. And the highway goes up north. You know, heads up there to wherever you want to go. Way up there to Williams Lake and beyond. Prince George, Yukon, Alaska, wherever you want to go. Here comes the train. Can hear a train coming in the distance. Trains go up and down here on both sides, so but you get used to it. After a while when you're sleeping, you don't even really notice it. The truck here. Yeah, it's beautiful to get out and camp. Perhaps at holidays, we've been out for two weeks. We are up in the Okanagan for a week, and now we're up and running around here. In these areas for, well, we're heading home tomorrow. Yeah, it's been fun. I'm not sure if you can... Have a radio going on your YouTube channel? I don't know, Jason, uh, you said I don't know if you can have a radio going on your YouTube channel. If that's true, someone let me know. But, uh, yeah, you know, Jason there, Renaissance man, check him out. He's reading stories from, uh, John Green's book that he got. Some good stories in there, like the story from Pitt Lake. That Sasquatch was seen in 1965 by some prospectors up at Pitt Lake, and, uh, in night, yeah, that was, uh, 1965, yeah, that's right. Now, I saw a pretty well similar one, an auburn gray one, in 2006. That was about the same height, between 10 and 14 feet. I'll still say 12 feet. And uh, he had yellowish hands, and he was up on a cliff when I saw him. I think it was the same one. i just seen it 40 years later because he was old. I was telling a few people how old he was. He was uh, hunchback and looked really old, like he was in his last days. So I bet you that was the same guy. He probably saw him when he was in his 20s, so he was maybe 30s, so when I saw it 40, maybe 70s, 80s, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty old when we seen him. That was a good sighting. He's way up on a cliff, and I was using my binoculars to watch him. Kind of skinny, auburn grayish guy. That was in 2006, yeah. 
Lots of stories I can tell, lots of stories. All right, I guess we're gonna, oh, here comes the train. There's a bird in here, look at him. He's going to sleep. It's eight o'clock at night. Get the belly on him. He's looking at me. Oh. Trying to get close here though. Oh, it won't focus. This camera. Town. Oh, we're not there yet. It's around the corner here. Rain quite a bit up here. The guy was saying this is the first couple of sunny days they've had. Alexander Bridge up in uh, Jocko country that was a uh, young Sasquatch Jocko it was caught in the 1800s we'll be heading up into that area with the museum and all kinds of stuff here in this little town an old gold town the gold rush days There's a slide there from the rain the last while. A little bit of a slide, and this is the whole Princeton slide here. Underneath here, there's cars and people buried from 1965 when a mild earthquake set this off. And a plane crashed up in here somewhere, too. Yeah, the road, uh, the road's underneath there. The road's buried under there. Yeah, lake too. Lake's buried. 
see where we are. We'll be up high in the mountains here. Hope he sees way down in the distance there. Way down there is Hope. Yeah, that was a big slide. It's pretty chilly right now. See where we are here? It's a rest area for the Hope, uh, Hope slide. And uh, there's actually a few Sasquatch sightings here not too long ago, about uh, a month and a half ago. And I won't say where, but uh, I was just up there with Barb and Ray checking it out, the area. Yeah, we're on our way home now. But uh, yeah, it's a great area. Lots of bush, as you can see. There's some of the boulders, eh? Came down and that came crashing down. It goes way far over the other way too. But that way. Down across the road. 